All right, what's up, you guys? Uh, back at it again with another video. This one is talking about Vic Mignogna. I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name correctly, but it's the guy that plays Broly. Now, it's this stuff that goes on. Uh, I guess it's these accusations against him from the voice of Bulma, uh, Monica Rial. Now, I don't know what all the accusations were. I'm assuming this was like sexual assault. Uh, and it's basically turned into a big issue. Now, that being said, I've listened to uh, an audio from Vic. He's basically apologizing to his fans at this, um, I believe it's Comic Con or something like that, explaining his frustration and his uh he's showing a lot of remorse consider you know with about about the allegations against him and that being said after listening to it my heart really goes out to him i'm not saying that he's 100 percent innocent i'm not saying that monica real is 100 percent innocent or guilty for that matter you know there's three sides to every story his side, her side, and the truth. The only issue that I'm, 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 that I, I tend to be having with this whole situation is the fact that Christopher Sabat, uh, the voice of Vegeta and the other characters in Dragon Ball Z, he is the voice director for Funimation. Now, <clears throat> he has automatically taken sides with Monica Real. Now, that being said, he's also gotten fired. Vic, Vic Mignogna has also gotten fired from Funimation regarding the accusations pinned up on him. Now, me working for a company or working for different companies, you, you tend to understand, like, companies are all about reputation and money. Now, when something is jeopardizing, that their money or reputation they're going to cut ties with anything causing that effect now in this case with these allegations pinned up against Vic you know of course Funimation is going to automatically like I right, Vic you got to go now the, the, the messed up thing about it is this guy has built a career 20 years with you know in the anime community you know, he's played Broly, uh, as far as I know, Broly, uh, Edward uh, Elric in uh, Full Metal Alchemist, and, prob and, and, and a bunch of other characters in the anime community. Now, he's built a career and he's made money, and he's built his living making us laugh, cry, all that kind of stuff. And now, with just, I'm going to call it rumor, because there is no proof as of right now, you know. With, with no proof about it, he's lost his job. Now, all they got is word. It's all just about, it's all, oh, he said this, you know. And it's kind of like, you know, it's, it's basically he say, she say. Now, of course, you know, Vic is going to give himself the benefit of the doubt. Now, I'm not saying that what Monica Real is saying is false, but from the looks of it, it just seems like a lot of hearsay going on. Now, in my, in my opinion, I think that it, it, it could be some bad blood. It could have been some previous bad blood between Monica and Vic, you know. Who knows? All I know is this guy has lost his career. Now... And in any get if in for any in an instance uh, that Vic is found innocent, that those are false. Not saying that they are. I'm not saying that Vic is 100 is innocent. You know, because he could be guilty. You know, and not saying that Monica is innocent cause, or guilty because she could be innocent. You know, and if the accusations are true, then you know my heart goes out. Well, my heart goes out to both of them, Monica and Vic. You know, but if those allegations are correct, then, you know, Vic 
does deserve something more than just a career loss. But um, as far as the whole side taking, you know, instead of really looking into the situation of what happened, it just seems like everybody just went straight to Monica, went on Monica's side and kind of abandoned Vic without really hearing what he had to say or or something, you know. Now, I guess and, and on Twitter, uh, Vic had responded to Monica saying that she needs to stop. Now, here's the thing about that. Is regardless, even if there's accusations pinned up against each other, it's kind of like, you know, damn if you do, damn if you don't, because if he were, he's responding to her, now she can use that as an building up the ammo to say, you know, she's threatening her, all that kind of stuff, all types of assault, and people commenting on Twitter about that whole situation, she, you know, it, 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 it's, it's a mess. Now, with, now him responding, they say, oh yeah, he's, he's, He's just basically saying you need to stop. Now, if he stays quiet, it's kind of like, oh, well, he must be guilty because he's not responding to anyone. You know, and, and, and being a celebrity, now I'm not a celebrity by any means or anything like that, but I can understand, like, <clears throat> for the celebrities that you got to be careful for what you do. You know, he explained in the audio, you can go on YouTube and look it up. Um, and he's apologizing, you know, he's crying. Now, in that, in that I don't know if he's being for real or if he's or he's acting whatever but you know he talks about giving a hundred people hugs and that 101 person might not want a hug and you know and that brings up something you got to be careful for what you do who you talk to who you you know hug pat on the shoulder whatever because you don't know what goes on in anybody's head uh, whether they're, while they're, it's, if you're really harassing them, you know, then no, that's not cool at all. But at the same time, if you're just that person that just like that you call, quote unquote call yourself giving a friendly hug or a gesture or whatever, you know, you don't know what's in that person's head. You don't know what kind of mindset they have. And you don't know what type of, you know, uh, my, you know, like I said, mindset they're, they're in. So you gotta be real careful, because <clears throat> you hear so many stories about the of people, you know, being sexually assaulted or pressing charges and stuff. Because you honestly really do not know. Anybody can say anything about anybody. Uh, all you have is your words, and you know it's no word to say. And you got that. You got that. 50-50% community where 50% of them will say that they're guilty, the other party will say that they're innocent and vice versa. And let's say hypothetically that Vic is off innocent. You know, there's not enough evidence or whatever the case may be. Funimation is still not going to hire him back. Because for one, you got that other percentage of people who are on the other party's side. Probably might protest a boycott the Funimation. Who knows the extent that people are broken. And then that would, you know, people already say that anime is, a, is sexist and it is. You know, and now with the whole allegations pinned up and let's say he walked free from it, you know, Got a it, talent for this. It, it, it's Don't gonna, forget how it's gonna felt. have a bad reputation for Funimation regardless. Even if everything comes out 100% true, if Monica says he really did do it in the justice system, which it is, the justice system is screwed up. Trunks. It's, it, it's, it's gonna go. I, this is turning. It's gonna go snowball effect, basically. Snowball effect. So. Since you were a baby. Uh, I don't know too much as far as Monica Real. I mean, what she on, said on Twitter. I've seen different uh, bits and pieces of it on the internet here. Um, I guess she has a friend that's with her too that is 100% uh, backing her up. So, I don't know your thoughts on it because 
it's definitely something that is very serious, you know, and it shouldn't be taken too lightly. Um, and, and yeah, it, it's, it's definitely something that I like you guys to clean on because I don't really know who to believe. I mean, obviously you see Vic on there who's pleading his innocence there uh, in, the, in, the, in the video. Um, <clears throat> You know, he's, you know, tearing up, he's crying, and, you know, he's apologizing. He's basically, you know, of course, you know, like I said, there's three sides of every story. Of course, he's going to, you know, give himself the benefit of the doubt. And, of course, now he's going to give himself the benefit of the doubt or, you know, maybe exclude some stuff on her part. Or he might exclude some stuff on his part to make himself sound innocent, you know, versus what he actually is. And then you have the actual and if this is based solely off of word to word, or his word versus her word, and there's no actual truth, it's going to turn into a problem in both parties because, you know, <clears throat> he's, he's going to say one thing and she's going to say one thing, and one of them is going to say one thing. And, you know, they're both going to be any type of assault, physical, sexual, assault, verbal assault, whatever, it's assault and it's very serious. So if he is saying what everybody or what she say is he saying, then you know justice will be served. Hopefully assault is nothing to play with. And there's nothing to foster the peace in my life. I'm not saying that she is, but you know, if you're actually assaulting somebody, sexually assaulting or whatever, that's serious and foster the peace in my life. You have to make sure he doesn't get back up It's definitely, you know, it's going to raise controversy, whatever, however you talk about it, whether it's for Vic or Monica. I, I can't say I'm for either one. I do feel for Vic because in the video, I mean, I can't read his mind. I don't know if he's talking about God or anything like that, so I don't know if he's, you know, being sincere in the apology or not. So, you know, I, I don't know. But my heart does go off for so him, not in the sense of in that video, it's the fact that he lost his suit. And he's up there in age, so who knows? And plus, with these allegations, who knows if anybody will hire him? Because, like I said in the beginning, Companies look at reputation. You know, so. These companies look at reputation. So, if they look at it, if they see that Funimation has dropped this person because of this situation. I see it as it is. No other company is going to want to hire <clears throat> not anytime soon until this whole thing clears in the air. And even then, who knows what his mindset will be. You know, like, after the same time, because it's very stressful. It's a stressful situation. It takes a toll on you financially, uh, physically, you know, emotionally. You know, this, you know, dealing with what you gotta go through. You know, it's gonna be a hectic, however long this, this case is gonna settle. You know, it's gonna be a very long, emotional road. And like I said, man, I can't help but to feel for the guy because of, you know, just how you know uh, uh, how everything is taking place about it you know he they cut ties with him right then and there nobody's really talking to him and it seems like everybody has automatically a took at this person's side without really understanding like is she really telling the truth you know or is he really telling the truth you know what i'm saying so <clears throat> yeah it's a, a very rough situation like i said it's it's hard to it's hard but like i said this is my opinion you know i'm not gonna go back you know and change anything or say whether you agreed or disagree let's agree to disagree basically so uh, i do feel for vic you know and that's just how i'm gonna say it. i'm not taking a side i just do feel for him you know um and i hope that it gets resolved However, best way it gets resolved, you know, I, all I know is in that situation and any type of situation revolving that kind of deal, 
it's gonna be serious <clears throat> on both parties it's gonna be straining and i don't really honestly think funimation you know well the cast of dragon ball is gonna really you know do the same because the broly movie just got released last month and you know he was the voice of broly and and now i was really hoping for a second broly you know with this new franchise coming with dragon ball super I was really hoping for a second Broly, you know, so who knows, they, they probably have to change a bunch of stuff now uh, regarding Broly's character, or if they're going to recast the voice, a new voice for him, you know, so who knows, uh, my heart does go out for Monica in reality, you know, um, because if you are a victim of it, you know, that's, it's very serious, and, I feel for anybody who goes through that kind of situation. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's really all I have to say. Uh, on a second note there, I have watched um, glimpse, glimpses of the new Broly movie. Yes, I'm late when it comes to the Broly movie. I haven't had time to go to the theaters to watch it. <laughs> uh, so, but I have seen glimpse of it, and it's actually really dope. I've, I've watched the, I guess there was a Japanese version on YouTube before they took it down, and it's nice. I haven't seen the, the whole uh, movie. i just seen the thing I skipped to, like, the fight fighting part. Uh, Vegeta's character, Super Saiyan God Red mode, Super Saiyan God mode, suits him, in my opinion, better than Blue. Um, and... To understand how he goes red, you have to read the manga. Uh, so, yeah, I think Super Saiyan Red suits him way better than Blue. I love Blue. That's my favorite color. Well, one of my favorite colors. But uh, but I think, honestly, this red definitely suits him. So, uh, so yeah, once I actually do see the movie, I'll do a, well, a late but review on it, how I liked it, what I liked about it, what I didn't like about it, what I wish they could have changed or could have added or took out, you know, simple stuff like that. Um, also, too, uh, after this video, you'll start seeing my gameplays. I, I played Kingdom Hearts 3, haven't beaten it yet. Um, kind of taking my time with it. I actually like it. I've heard some some poor ratings on it. Like, not poor, but I've heard people give it, like, a 7 out of 10, a 6 out of 10. Highest I've seen was an 8 out of 10. So, I'll give my ratings on that game. So far, I mean, I really like it. You know, it's been 14 plus years since I've seen, since the second Kingdom Hearts. And I've played just about all of them, except for, like, maybe a couple of them. Uh, yeah, there there was one though, um, and I can't think of that name of the game. But it's one of the Kingdom Hearts games I haven't played. But uh, I like the I like it. I mean, I like the the, the semi new features that's on it. Um, you know, the graphics. You know, I I, I like it so far. Thus far, I like it so. If I had to rate it right now, I'd give it a 9 out of 10, but that might change once I get closer to beating the game. Uh, <clears throat> I beat Dragon Ball Z Universe 2. Uh, I'll probably do maybe, well, not really a, a gameplay. I'm just, per se, but maybe just maybe just a couple of how-tos. This game came out a couple years ago, you know. If, if anybody has the game, probably got all the characters, you know. But my opinion on the whole game, my character is right there, Tyrone. <laughs> yeah, it's Tyrone. And uh, I, <clears throat> hey, I'm proud of uh, of that character, man. Like, I've gotten Super Saiyan 1, 2, and 3. DJ. Super Saiyan 3, I have hair. It's Super Saiyan uh, 1 and 2, I'm still bald. But my moves change. <laughs> I 
So yeah, I'm <clears throat> I'm kind of rocking the piccolo uniform towards the end. I'm, I I got the beers, God of Destruction. So, but yeah. Uh, yeah, I have nothing really to say too much as far as anymore as far as the Vic, like a uh, uh, Vic Vic Mignogna side. Uh, I'm actually gonna look at Monica Real side now, and and I don't have a Twitter, so uh, I had a Twitter, but honestly, I mean Twitter's kind of boring to me, honestly. Uh, I guess. Everybody's on Twitter now, and you can find, you can see different posts and different, you know, tweets and retweets and all that kind of stuff. And I guess that's where kind of stuff went down. So I think I might get a Twitter just to see, so I can get more information on her side and his side, apparently, because it is kind of serious. And I'm a big fan of anime, so you know, I want to stay current with this whole thing because. This is a great loss with Vic because, you know, for anybody who watched Dragon Ball Z, you know, and seen and heard Broly's voice and screams and all that kind of stuff, Vic nails it. You always have those certain characters that really can just nail the voice, like Sean Shemmel, the voice of Goku and other characters. But <clears throat> Goku's voice suits Goku. You know, uh, Christopher Sab Sabat, Sabat, however you pronounce his name. Uh, his voice with Vegeta. Now his voice, I will say, I will add on to this. His voice does sound a little different from the Dragon Ball Super versus the Dragon Ball Z. It's a slight difference. Like he kind of sounds a little bit more like Piccolo, even though they're voiced by the same person. Um, but he sounds more like Piccolo than uh, now. I mean, with years and years and years of uh, doing this whole thing and having to have that raspy voice, you know, it kind of, I'm pretty sure it takes a toll. And I think at the, at the, at now and at this point in, in Christopher uh, Sabbath's uh, career, he kind of like, whatever. If I sound like Vegeta, I can sound like Vegeta. If it sounds more, a little bit more like Piccolo, who cares? I'm the same person. So, uh, <laughs> so yeah, uh, this is my son in the background. He's over there making noises. But um, but yeah, uh, yeah. I'll try to create a Twitter, I guess, and see what goes on. No promises on that. But I'll watch this going YouTube. It doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, that's just my thoughts on it. Uh. I don't know what you guys might think. I've heard other opinions about it. I've heard people, I've, for the most part, people are siding with Vic. Um, like, like, I, like I said, my heart does go out to Vic. I'm not going to side with the guy. But, you know, I, my heart does go out to Vic. You know, he seems like he's pouring a lot of emotions on it. You know, and I really hope he's sincere in this situation because, like I said, it is serious. So, um, and if he is innocent, you know, I hope they clear him. And if he's not, you know, obviously, you know what needs to be done. And as for Monica Real, um, I hope that what you're saying is true. I mean, I, I, in the sense of him being guilty, like if he did it, you're not lying, basically. Not saying that I hope that he really did do it to you, you know, uh, you know, and I and if that and if he and if those are true, then you know my my heart does go out to you regardless. But you know, it's it's kind of like a it's it's dangerous territory. But stuff got to be said about it, you know. So again, I'm gonna say that's my thoughts. Um, let me know what you think, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.